Well, my friends, we are here at the end, the last three. I'm always sad when we get to the last ones. But that's okay, this album's fucking rock, so it's, <laughs> I can't wait for the end. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. A little tuckered out, and that damn pollen just messes with me no matter what. I don't care, like, what time, if it's spring, or if it's ragweed in the fall, my allergies will fuck me up. But that's okay. It is what it is. Um, so the last three songs on uh, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust. Um, it's called Ziggy Stardust. Um, rock and oh, Suffrage City and then Rock and Roll Suicide. Those are the three songs we have left. And that's what we're going to do. Suffrage City. It's an interesting name. Um, they're all kind of short tracks. And these were all the, the singles released. Yeah, Starman was, Suffrage City was a single, those two came out together, and then Rock and Roll Suicide was a single too. Um, so I guess uh, Bowie saves the best for last, just like uh, Station to Station. So, let's go. Y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out, click that icon right below my face, and uh, I will link all the other videos, and the, or I could just link the Bowie playlist right there if you want to watch the other ones. We have done a lot of Bowie, and we're going to continue to do so. So, let's go. And this video is sponsored by me. What's up? <laughs> Let's go. All right. David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust. Three, two, one, hit it. Ziggy played guitar, jamming good with Wed and Gilly and the spiders from Mars. He played it left hand, but made it too far. Became the special man, then we were Ziggy's band. Ziggy really sang, screwed up eyes and screwed down hairdo. Like some cat from Japan He could lick them by smiling He could leave them to hang They came on so loaded, man Well hung and snow white tan So we bitched about his fans and should we crush his sweet hands? Oh, oh the riff is so good. <laughs> I swear I've heard that riff before. Ziggy played for time, jiving us that we were voodoo. The kids would just crash. Was the Nas with God given ass? He took it all too far, but boy, could he play guitar? Making love with his ego. Ziggy sucked up into his mind. Like a concert, baby. That might be my favorite Ziggy so far. Played guitar. Just from that riff alone, like that's such a good riff, dude. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Suffragette City. I was right before. I was wrong before too. Okay. Face, but it's mellow like 
sex just put my spine out of place Oh my god. Imagery is so vivid, man. It's crazy. Stop adrenaline. <laughs> Man, last one. Rock and roll suicide. It's been a fun ride, my friends. A little weird, too, but that's how I like it. Time takes a cigarette, puts it in your mouth. You pull on your finger, then another finger. Then cigarette The water wall is calling It lingers Then you forget Oh, 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 oh You're a rock and roll suicide You're too old to lose it Too young to choose it And the clock waits so Patiently on your song You walk past the cafe But you don't eat When you've lived too long Oh no, no, no You're a rock and roll suicide Shit breaks the snarling As you stumble across the road But the day breaks instead So you hurry home Don't let the sun blast your shadow Don't let the milk float rob your mind They're so natural Religiously unkind Oh no, love, you're not alone You're watching yourself But you're too unfair You've got to
it just ends like that. That's crazy, dude. That is so good. Damn, I... <laughs> just like the line in that last song, the first line. I need a cigarette after that one. Jesus. That was like the full-on climax of the, the album. He definitely saved the best for last. Suffered, Suffergate City? Suffergate? I don't know how to pronounce it right. That was literally amazing. Uh, but honestly, I think Ziggy Stardust might have been my favorite song on this whole side. And then Moon Age Daydream would be my favorite on the first side. Um, I don't know if I could pick between the two because they're both so good. Uh, but there's just so much iconic music on this album. Like, I swear that half of this stuff I've heard just like filtered through pop culture osmosis and other people covering it, or it's like in like little intros and in movies and stuff like that. You know, like that riff from Ziggy Stardust, I that's iconic. I, I swear I've heard that before. It's such a good riff. I wish I had wrote that riff. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those. It's like, damn, that's good. Um, I don't know, like, uh, that, he kind of sets his own trends. Like, I feel like they, people could make a whole genre out of this album. Like, there's so many different sides and different, like, you know, textures and styles that he used here. Like, it's a very expansive and wide, like, widely ranged album that he pulled off here. Uh, but still remaining core to its true sound, you know, of just like a rock and roll. You know, it's the rise and fall of a rock and roll star. And that last song kind of just felt like it was the end of his career. And, you know, I wouldn't say he was like washed up or something. But, I, would, you know, I'd say that he's maybe not on his best leg. And, uh, yeah, it's a hell of an ending. It is kind of like a cigarette after yeah, after sex. It's just like coming down after that, you know, Suffragette City, uh, Ziggy Stardust High that we were just on, you know. Um, but literally, uh, hold on, let me go to... I have everything up. So, of course, David Bowie on the vocals, acoustic guitar, saxophone, string arrangements, uh, Mick Ronson on electric guitar, keyboards, backing vocals, string arrangements, uh, Trevor Boulder on the bass guitar and Woody Woodmancy on the drums. Uh, yeah, literally Woodmancy and uh, Trevor were literally they were going crazy in uh, Suffragette City uh, <laughs> and the end in Ziggy Stardust. It was just pure rhythm section goodness, and then Mick Ronson just dropping in his just amazing electric guitar. Man, like he is such a talented artist, and I feel kind of ashamed that I haven't really. I mean, I've been exposed to him on the channel, but not like this, you know, my, a full album listen with him on it. And I mean, every single song, he contributes something amazing to it. You know, he's one hell of a guitarist and just musician in general, because it's not just guitar that he does. Um, but yeah, I'd say Trevor and Woody were definitely really um, consequential to this album as well. I think they really added a whole like a layer to the sound that... Bowie could fall back on with his lyrics and everything. Like you always can come back to the rhythm section and uh, it, they're there for him. You know, um, those just those infectious choruses, the ones that just like, as we call them on the channel, I guess, earworms, you know, like it, it's like half this album is an earworm. Honestly, this whole album is an earworm, but I'd say for me personally, half of it, it's honestly stuff that I would listen to again and again. And just how can you get that out of your head? Like it, that, this is definitely one of the best rock and roll albums of all time. Um, I can say that without a doubt. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what like list I could put it on. You know what I'm saying? Or top 20, top 30. I don't have anything like that. But I will say this is definitely one of the best, you know, wall to wall rock and roll albums I've ever listened to. Just from start to finish, it was um, off to the races, basically. And we had little tangents we took on little side quests. So you, you know, you can call them whatever. But we got to the finish line of the rise and fall of Ziggy. Um, and it, like I like I said in the last video, I feel like Ziggy really mirrors you know Bowie himself. That's like the most true character that he ever really played. It feels like, and um, I don't think he really had a fall like you know that uh, Ziggy had here in the narrative. But I did think that uh, maybe that's the way that he perceived it back when he wrote this. That you know maybe that's how he would go. It's just like a he would uh, burn bright and you know wash out pretty quick. But he didn't. He was a very consistently amazing musician throughout his whole career, even though he took breaks here or there, did whatever, went and, you know, toured with someone else and helped do that, whatever. You know, he's just always doing something probably until his, you know, passing. Um, just a talented artist, man. Like, there's very few people in the world that can play 
the instruments that he does sing the way that he does and write and just create these characters. He's almost like a Peter Gabriel, uh, Paul Simon mix, like, but with at the same time, he just has this, I don't know, this flair to him that no one else does. I have never come across anybody who has this, that like this, the charisma, like it's a very cheap word to use for it, but it's crude, but it, it'll work, you know, it's charisma, but it's something more than that as well. It's like this uh, underlying confidence in everything that he does. And I think it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, Ziggy Stardust is definitely going on Pandora uh, automatically. <laughs> That's really, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that for my girl later. She'll probably like that. Um, I don't know, man. That was a great album. I don't know what you guys thought. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably enjoy David Bowie. So um, you probably agree with me. That I don't know if Station to Station or this. I, that's really hard, man. If you put me on the spot right now, gun to my head, I would have to go with. Oh wow! Well, you might kill me. Yeah, I'm dead. I can't come up with an answer. Damn I, AI! If you're listening and you hear this, I apologize. I didn't mean it. it. Nothing like that. It was a joke. Euphemism. Blah blah blah. Um, man, that's hard to pick. I really like Station to Station. That Latin player is so good. Uh, but I don't have to pick, you know. I'm not going to. <laughs> but uh, I, I can't wait to listen to the next one. I don't know which album we're going to listen to next. But um, it's up to you guys. Let me know down below what album you think we should tackle next. These aren't request videos. Usually these are just me going through, you know, the albums and trying to get a real feel for the artist. Um, Bowie is just one of a kind. I really don't have any comparisons for him. Um, he's like everybody in one. You know what I'm saying? Like all these different artists in one and he just encapsulates a whole generation of artists of, you know, the 60s and the 70s of hardworking, creative geniuses. There were so many of them and he is uh, included in that Mount Rushmore, I think, of that era, the golden era, what you call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought everything was great about these three songs. Um, I thought rock, rock and Roll Schmooside was a great way to end the album. Very, uh, it's a very calming nature to calm down after that roller coaster of an album, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know who originally requested uh, five years. I think somebody originally requested that, and that that's what caught me onto this album. I could be wrong, but whoever did, thank you, because I'm glad that we did. That was great. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed that, because I definitely did. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see y'all next time. If y'all know Patreon, right here. That is a picture of it. There is a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Uh, join any of the tiers. Get access to all of our block videos, um, our patrons only Discord, uh, all of our full album reactions to the Beatles and Blind Faith, King Crimson, you name it, it's in there. There's lots of block videos. Um, trying to think. Uh, yeah, there's also a PayPal and Cash App. If you want to send a tip in, say, hey, good job, good album re reaction, I guess. I don't know. Uh, or you want to do request that way, you can do that as well. Just send it in there and put the artist name, song name, no links or anything like that because the links do not work in any of those services. So don't even try because uh, if you send just a link in, I'm not going to be able to click it. I'm not going to be able to do it probably. So just letting you guys know. Thank you for watching. Uh, that was amazing. Great album. And uh, thank you for going on this journey with me. I truly appreciate it. I'll catch y'all later.